I think I was just really lucky that, I always thought I was really lucky that I just knew I wanted to be a nurse from when I was really little. So although I grew up in sleepy Somerset, I always knew I wanted to go to London to train. And so I applied and trained at the Nightingale School of Nursing, which is based, was based then at St. Thomas's Hospital in London. And I started there back in November 1984. For one year, I did neonatal intensive care, which actually had quite a lot of similarities because it was about life and death and really intense times. And I did love that. Um, but apart from that, I have worked in palliative care. I was sister on a radiotherapy ward, um, head and neck unit. I did my oncology certificate. I worked as a Macmillan nurse in Cornwall back in the days before there were mobile phones or sat navs and had to find my way across Bodmin Moor to a remote farmhouse. I joined in 2010 when I really want, was looking for a change and I, I just happened to look on the Weldmar website and saw a very different job which was in education, which I didn't think I would do for very long, but actually I stayed in that team for eight years, absolutely loved it. And I think that's something for me, working in specialist palliative care is really important that we, we have the privilege of looking after a group of patients, but I think we also have a duty to educate and support those who are looking after everybody. And so I think there's an awful lot we can teach and share our knowledge and our skills and our expertise. And then an opportunity came up to move into the management side here. I had been in management posts previously and I, I thought, you know, I'm passionate about Weldmar. I absolutely love the organisation and those who work in it. And so I was lucky and privileged to be able to come into the management side. Um, which, I, which I have been doing for, for quite a few years now. Um, I'm a huge advocate of nursing. I remember my dad asking me to do medicine instead and I said, no, I really want to do nursing. I really want to spend I, what I saw would be opportunity to really spend time with patients. As a student, I had a placement with what was called the terminal support team back then. And I thought, this is what I want to do. And I had really good advice from the senior nurse in that team. It was one of the first in the country. And she said, go and work in all elements of the patient's journey. So work in oncology and cancer care, work in where people have been in hospital or been in the community or in the hospice. And that's what I have done. And it's been wonderful to be part of that journey um, as a nurse and now to end up um, in an organisation where I feel that um, we have a really strong voice as nurses and a really big part to play in the services that we deliver. Now I would say what I really love about palliative care is the holistic and multidisciplinary approach. Um, my post now for the last couple of years has been Director of Clinical Services. So effectively I cover all of the services that are wearing uniform. And I love that. I love being there working alongside the physios as well as the medical staff, as well as the nursing staff. And that multidisciplinary teamwork with our colleagues who provide patient services, who perhaps provide carer support, that working together, that is what I find unique to palliative care and makes it very special. There have been so many changes um, in nursing. I mean, I trained before it was a degree, and so I consider I had a really good training on the wards um, uh, without going to university. Um, but over the years, it's changed so much, and I had to change as well. So, you know, back when my children were young, I was doing studying for my degree after they'd gone to bed at night. And then more recently, within the last decade, I've done a master's. And that is very much um, nursing now for registered nurses. It's a very challenging um, career based on um, degree foundation for education and professional development. And so there's a lot of technology involved. There's a lot of um, leadership and management as well as the highest level of clinical skill. So it really has changed, but the fundamentals of nursing are still the same. So actually what, what it is about palliative care nursing is, is the, the patient at the heart of that and, the, and those important to them. 
and it's supporting them. Um, and that's what makes it um, very, very special to be able to do that. And I witness that every day in all the different teams that we have working here. The care that we deliver is fantastic. Um, all the teams are just great to work with. I also love working for a charity and I think that adds a different dimension to when working for the NHS. So it's that two-way thing. If, if we weren't there to give the care, we wouldn't need to raise the money, but if we didn't raise the money, we wouldn't be able to give the care. So working with fundraising, teams like yourself as well, it's, it's just really important. And I love that, working across the organisation and having that breadth of um, working day means that no two days are the same. Every day throws up something different to deal with. I would say go for it. I think nursing gives you that lovely opportunity to really w work with people and work alongside people and really make a difference in their lives. But also nursing has so many different ways of working. There are so many different types of roles that you can take in nursing. I, I never would have thought when I started that journey of nursing that I would end up in a, in a sort of senior management role but actually um, you know those are so there are so many opportunities and you know even though there are tough times and there are challenging lots of challenging times uh, ultimately uh, I think my my professional background really helps me um, with dealing with with everything that comes along and it, it continues to be an absolute privilege to work for Worldmark.